Welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you guys so much for bearing with me. I'm not even gonna lie, I just woke up like not too long ago. Lola and I have been out and about in downtown Dallas today and the heat drained us. But without further ado, um, a lot of you guys asked me to talk about my skincare routine. Yes, thank you guys so much for the compliment. Actually, like inspires me because I've had a lot of people ask me in the past like what I've done with my face. And even when I'm out in public, everyone's like, how does your face look so smooth? Like, what the heck? And of course, like I give like the general, like I drink a lot of water, which is true. I do drink a lot of water. Water is definitely good for your skin. But I also realize that I do a lot with my face. Like I, I love getting facials, like my hydrofacials, my um, microneedling, my dermabrasion. Um, anything to just like pull out dirt from my pores, I feel like contributes to my beautiful skin, as well as like my home skincare routine, which we're going to talk about right now. So I brought out a couple of my favorite products and I wrote down their prices in case you guys were we not wondering how much they are. And it wasn't until I put this together that I realized that I'm an expensive ass bitch. Why is my lash being so weird? That was weird. Anyways, oh well. Um, but yeah, I'm an expensive ass bitch and I apologize. And if you feel like um, the prices are crazy and you're just like, I'm never going to spend that kind of money on that, like you're out of your mind, please feel free to message me. I do have some alternatives and, you know, they're a lot cheaper, but they're like more like over the counter and whatnot. So we'll talk about that. So without further ado, I have gotten into my Tatcha recently. So this one's a Tatcha Deep Cleanser Exfoliating Facial Scrub. And then I have the matching Tatcha Water Cream. These ones go hand in hand and they're best for people with skin like mine. I have oily to combination, but ever since I moved to Dallas, I've had more of like an oily skin because of how humid it is. And I hate looking like I'm sweating, you know? Like I'm constantly like touching up my face with my shine control and just trying to control it and making sure that I don't look like I was in a sauna like all day. So this deep cleansing exfoliating scrub, oh my gosh guys, I have something in my eye, it just really bothers me, I can stop doing that, leave it alone. Anyways, this one will run you about, where did I write it down, oh here we go, $38 and the cream runs you about $68. Now before you freak out at the $68 for a facial cream, this is the type of cream where a little goes a long way. And what I mean is, you know, when you buy the when you buy the water cream, it comes with a little spoon up at the top and it's so cute. And when you open it, you know, obviously I've used like quite a few, I don't know. There we go. Quite a few of the cream. Uh, I've had it for at least a couple of months now. You use the spoon and you scoop up like just enough to cover the spoon and you place it on your hands and that's what you use. Now I have a big ass forehead and like a big ass face and maybe you guys have the same problem as me, but even with that small amount, it's still able to cover up my face. And you guys know I'm all about anything anti-aging, like I freaking do Botox and I'm only 22 years old, but I fear getting old <laughs> in the future because I'm just trying to look like Oprah and Kris Jenner when I'm in my 60s. So taking care of your skin now is very important. Now I'm not putting a gun to anyone's head and saying you need Botox, but um, as a suggestion, I totally recommend it. And when you think Botox, you think like, you know, it transforms somebody super old and wrinkly into somebody like super young looking, which is not always the case. Um, you know, the world has gotten better with the, with the new ingredients of Botox and targeting more of like a younger demographic like myself by creating preventive Botox. And preventive Botox is a lower dosage that actually prevents future wrinkles um, later on in life. So that's what I do. I don't use like the, the heavy, heavy Botox that will literally make me look like, you know, I had no expression on my face. My Botox, as you can see, um, I have like no frown lines or anything, no, none of that. It just helps me train my face and, uh, or more like train my muscles in my face to not wrinkle as much, especially as I get older. So the older I get, surprisingly, the less Botox I'm going to need because I started at such a young age. Had I known about it, I probably would have started at like maybe 18. I'm not even going to lie to you. Totally recommend it. Um, so yes, those are my favorite facial cleanser. Um, my favorite mask 
Mind you guys, I do my masks every Sunday because I like to prepare myself for the week and I want to be able to, uh, you know, pull out all the dirt, all the grime, everything that I've been going through for that, you know, week on Sunday to prepare for my new week. So I love my Peter Thomas Roth, the Hungarian Thermal Water Mask. This is a heating mask actually. So you would put the product on your face. You'd wait about like 20 minutes or so and then you would go ahead and rinse it. And when you rinse it, do not be alarmed because when I first did this, I freaked out. I didn't realize how hot this shit got when it was on your face after you know you're about to take it off. So once you like, once water gets in contact with this product on your face, your face does tend to warm up. And this also works for anti-aging, um, it tightens up your skin, so it takes away like your your lines, like your imperfections, all that good stuff, and it just leaves your face feeling nice and smooth and refreshed. So this one will run you about $58. Again, I don't know where I find this money from. It's literally crazy. So this is like my go-to. Guys, oh my god, my face. I even slept touching my face. Oh my god. It's like I just have hair everywhere. Let's just rip my extensions off. Imagine. Anyways. <laughs> So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into my makeup. So a lot of you guys know that I'm obsessed with Huda Beauty. Like whenever she posts a new product on Instagram, there's like this trigger in my head that just goes off and says, you need that product. And I'm like, bitch, you're right. So then I grab my bag, I grab Lola, and we're off to Sephora. And I go buy it. And it's crazy because her product is not cheap, you know? Um, and... Granted, it is expensive, but it's good quality. It is perfect quality. In fact, I'm wearing some of her products right now, and I just woke up from a nap, and it looks like I just put on makeup not too long ago. So it's totally like one of those you get what you pay for type of products. But, you know, when I was putting together my list, I was like, who spent that? What do you mean? You know, like it was, it's crazy expensive. I am an impulse buyer. And I get that from my mom. I need to stop doing that. I'm the person where if I want it, I don't care the price. I'm just going to go buy it because I just need it. And I will lose sleep if I don't have it. There was a time where Huda um, put out her new tan tour, which we'll get into, um, cream contour that I saw on her Instagram. And I saw all the reviews and I saw people using it. And it came with a matching brush, which obviously like they're sold separately. I went to every Sephora here in Dallas just for that tan tour and that brush. I was in Euless, I was in Grapevine, I was in Irving, I was in Dallas, I was in Plano. I went wherever there was a Sephora just to get that. I was calling places to make sure that they had it, had them put it on hold. It was a very eventful Sunday, but that day that I was doing that, I could not find the matching brush anywhere. They were sold out. So unfortunately, I had to buy it online. But the guy, um, there's just one Sephora in Highland Park. Um, and one of the guys seems Angel. He is such an angel. I call him Angel the Angel because he's so sweet and very helpful. He was able to order me the brush online because he says that when Huda's product goes out of stock, like it takes at least three weeks for them to come back. And there was only one more brush left. So <coughs> he made sure that I got that brush and took care of my shipping and handling. And it came straight to my house. And I felt like a princess. So that Sephora is about maybe 15 minutes away from my apartment. Even though there's like one closer. I still go to that one because Angel just... And there were all the other employees there just made me feel so amazing. And if you guys have ever been to Highland Park... Fun fact, um, the Royal Housewives of Dallas is filmed out of Highland Park because it's one of the most bougiest places here in Dallas. Like, houses run for, like, multi-million dollars. You see everybody with their Porsches or Rolls Royces, their G-Wagons, you know, just all the fancy, fancy cars. But then there's me and my Mazda, <laughs> Beep, you know? But I just feel like royalty whenever I go to Highland Park and um, everyone there, they're so sweet so amazing and I wish I kind of lived there but I don't have that kind of money 
but apparently I have money for all this shit. It's just ridiculous. But anyways, jumping into things, we're gonna start off with my favorite products by Huda. It's called um, Not Your Momless Pantyhose. And the story behind this is she was inspired by Beyonce's legs, fun facts. Um, Cause when you know, when you see Beyonce performing, you see how gorgeous her legs are. Like she just has flawless ass legs. Come to find out, somebody told me that she wears um, like five pantyhose stacked on each other to like make her looks look that flawless. Whatever she does, it's amazing. And so Huda was inspired by that. So she thought to herself like, what product can I create to create the illusion of having Beyonce's gorgeous ass legs? And this was one of them. So I did put some on my hand, as you can see. It transfers on really, really well. The one that I have is called Aurora, and they're named out of Greek goddesses. So I feel like a Greek goddess, and I'm Aurora. And so this one's made for um, complexion of like mine, um, like darker. She also has Luna, which is medium to dark, if you're like combination in between. And then Aphrodite for the lighter complexions. And this one actually comes with its own matching, some people call it a kabuki, I just call it a brush. <laughs> and it comes with its matching brush that I use like versatile. So sometimes I'll use it on my chest, on my arms, on my legs. Um, but I've learned that you can also use it as like an underneath highlighter. So if you're like me and you don't like wearing highlight, like you don't like using the powder or whatnot, this is super awesome as an alternative. So what I do is I put on my primer and then I take my Not Your Mama's Pantyhose and I'll put three dots, three dots, one right here on my forehead. And um, I take my brush and I just blend it all over my face. And then I put my makeup on top and it just really shines through my makeup and creates that natural highlight, a highlight where it needs to be. Now, don't get crazy and use this all over your face because you will look crazy. I've done that. Don't do that. Okay. I literally, before I even like read the directions and saw like the tutorials, put it all over and I looked like the Tin Man. And even with my makeup on, like, I looked like, have y'all ever seen Thriller? And um, it, like, shows a part of Michael Jackson. He's just standing there like, yeah, it was really scary. I looked just like that. So <laughs> don't do that. So this Not Your Mama's Pantyhose Cream will run you about, oh, there we go. I was like, I knew I wrote it somewhere. $49. And the brush is, um, I forgot. I didn't write it down. I don't know why. I want to say it's, like. 25 to 30 dollars one of the two without further ado um i also have her resting boss face setting spray this one she says that she was inspired by drag queens so um by that you know back in the day a lot of people if you wanted your makeup to stay especially the drag queens like they perform they're dancing they're sweating but their makeup still looks flawless they used to use hairspray so who decided, okay, you know what, let's create a setting spray that's inspired by the drags as well as having the same, you know, um, holdness like hairspray would that's not as harsh as hairspray. So she came up with her resting boss face setting spray. And with this, it keeps your makeup in place just like when, at least I did, when I used to like use hairspray to hold my makeup, does the exact same thing. It even smells like hairspray, so I thought that was super cute. I took a nap and my makeup still looks flawless, so totally recommend this. This one will run you about $33, but if you don't want to spend $33 on a setting spray, I do suggest the, Mor the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This one smells amazing. It's a little bit lighter as far as product, because this one, when you spray on your face, it's kind of heavy, but that's just it grasping onto your makeup. This one's super, super light, it smells amazing, and it's literally half the price. This one's $15, so you can do either or. Fast forwarding, um, my favorite lashes that I use, I used to do eyelash extensions, but eyelash extensions are mainly for people if you sleep in one position. If you sleep like a wild baboon, like a WWE Smackdown, like a crackhead, um, it's not for you because it was not for me and I never slept properly and my neck was always hurting. 
Um, so I stopped doing eyelash extensions and just stuck to my strip lashes. I love using Lily Galici lashes. This one is in Miami's. The one that I'm wearing right now is called Hollywood. Um, her lashes run about anywhere between $26 to $30, depending on if you buy it online or if you buy it at Ulta. Um, an alternative to her lashes that look exactly the same is from Tarte. And um, the ones that I usually use is I just recently bought one called Llama, and it looks identical to Lily Galici's Miami lashes. And then there's one other one. It's in a green box, and it's super full, and those ones also look like um, Lily Galici's Miami's. Now for my lashes, these ones are like the most natural lashes that I have. I usually like to go for the super exotic, super big, dramatic, over-the-top stripper lashes. Like, I need to be taking flight with my lashes when I put them on. But because I just wanted to do something simple for today, um, I decided to go with her Hollywoods. They're more natural looking and it just flowed well with my entire makeup and what I had going on today. So yes, and the Tarte lashes are about $12. So <clears throat> fast forwarding, some of my favorite products, her Tantor, this is her cream contour. They do come in different colors. I use medium and medium is more so for um, darker complexion or if you just use like if, I don't know if you just want to contour. I don't know. This is the one that I use, okay? This is, this is just what I use. And you can only find Huda's products either on her website or in Sephora. So I totally recommend you guys check out her products. It's super amazing, and I preach about it, and I talk about it, like, a lot. Um, in the tan tour, you can get light, fair, medium, tan, rich. What I love the most about Huda and her products is that she has products for every skin type that you can literally imagine. Any skin tone, whether if it's combination in between the darkest of the dark, like she caters to absolutely everybody and that's what I love the most about her. This one um, transfers on super fabulous. I have the matching brush for this one as well. And this tan tour is about $30. <clears throat> and then we have her baking powder. She has a set on her website called Easy Bake and it has about five of her setting powders, either five or six, and um, the brush for it. The only thing, the only reason why I wouldn't buy it is because the Easy Bake um, package or you know the whole set is mainly to me for people who are makeup artists. Like you do other people's makeups and you need different setting powders for different skin tones. Totally recommend that kit. It's running right now $260. I just saw that today. But um, a single powder, I have this one for $34. And I use Kanatha and it looks like the banana powder. And if you don't wanna use this one, there's a brand from Ulta called Revolution that works just as perfect as um, Huda's product. Um, does the exact same job and it's actually the exact same color. I wanna say it's like a revolutionary or just revolution, but um, their banana powder is really good too. I used to use that until I found out about um, Huda. Last but not least, um, you know, when I wear my lashes, I don't like using the duo glue. Like that glue, by the end of the day, is like having my lashes hanging on for dear freaking life. And when I used to do fashion shows and like modeling and pageants, that's the only glue that they would use. And literally by the end of the show, or like even sometimes during the show, like I'm constantly trying to like put my lashes back on, like mash them with my natural lashes just to keep them in place. I put this on my baby, on my future baby, on my grandma, on my great grandma, on my, my poppy. Like I put this on everybody. The Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. It looks a little crusty right now because I use this a lot. I've been using this. Damn, I'm trying to hype you up. Anyways, <laughs> I've been using this eyelash glue since my freshman year of middle school. Oh my god, my dog just choked, so that was scary. Um, my freshman year of middle school, because I used to do cheerleading, um, I also used to do dance, and so, you know, we would obviously wear lashes that were super, super big, and this eyelash glue will literally keep your lashes on all day. I have gone out to parties, blacked out, woke up the next day, and my lashes were still on. Granted, they were mashed up bad, but they were still on. And I was like, damn, kiss, okay, I see you. This one I think I wanna say is like anywhere between four to five dollars. 
not $45, but $425. And you can find this at Walmart. I've seen them at Walgreens. I've seen them at Target. Um, where else did I? Oh, even Albertsons, surprisingly enough. This is my favorite eyelash glue. Make sure you buy it. Um, so those were pretty much my main go-tos for my face. So um, I always, before I do my makeup, I do my cleanser. I use my Tatcha. And then I go ahead and I put the water cream on. And I wait about five minutes. And then after that, I put on my primer, which I, I go back and forth with primers. This one's the Benefit Port Professional. This one is the largest one that they have. So I believe I paid about $30 for this one. If I'm not using this one, I'm using the Poreless from Tarte. Is this Tarte? Yeah, I think it's tart. Um, and that one's also $30. But uh, Smashbox, the... Oh my gosh. I forgot the name of it, but it was like a, it's like a gel. It's like a matte gel um, primer from Smashbox. That one's awesome. I think that one's like $25. But um, after I put on my facial cream and I let that sink in, I go ahead and I put my primer on and I wait another five minutes. I do that because I've noticed in the past, if you put on your makeup right away after you put on your primer, your makeup comes out splotchy because you did not give your skin enough time to absorb your product, absorb the things that you just put on your face. And that's really important because when you do that, it helps putting on your makeup go on a lot smoother and it makes everything look a lot even. Um, so I think that's really important. Nobody likes blotchy makeup. And I almost forgot, guys, duh, the cream of the cake, the main thing, my foundation. I used to be <clears throat> Liquid Studio Fix from MAC or Dye. Like, that was the only foundation I used to use. I was like, I just want MAC, nothing else. But it wasn't until my friend Malie got me into Estee Lauder, which if I thought of Estee Lauder, like, three years ago, I'd be like, no, that's for old people. But it wasn't until I saw her use it and her face is flawless and I was like, damn, let me go ahead and try it out. So I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And this one is so like lightweight, you almost forget you're wearing makeup. And that's really good for foundations because you don't want to wear a foundation where you, <gasps> let me go ahead, excuse me, I'm so gross. <laughs> you don't want to wear a foundation where you can immediately feel it and know that if you hug somebody right now, it's gonna transfer off to them. Like, no, don't do that. Totally recommend the double wear. This one runs you about $42, but again, like I say, a little goes a long way. I use like a dime size. I put a dot on my forehead, um, on my nose, both of my cheekbones and my chin, and that covers my entire face. And then I go ham on everything else, the highlighting, the contouring, the baking, my eyes, my eyeliner, my eyebrows, all that good stuff. And my makeup stays on all freaking day, even with an eight to five job, with the booty ass humidity that I'm going through out here in Dallas, my makeup still stays flawless. But sometimes I will admit my makeup starts to, you know, fall a little bit or I get a little shiny, especially like in my T-zone areas. And so um, a product that gets slept on a lot that I've been using again since like high school is the Neutrogena Shine Control. This one I wanna say is about $11. It also comes in a primer, but I just prefer the powder because I can't carry the primer around with me everywhere. I just toss this in my bag and I have my little makeup brush and if ever I feel like I'm getting shiny, I just, Let's pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't even know I did that. I just thought dab, so I dabbed, you know? It was horrible. Oh my god, I want to kill myself. Anyways, so yeah, I totally use this whenever I get shiny and I just want to like touch up real quick. This is my go to shit. I love it. Um, I think I touched base on everything. So yeah. It's very important as in closing, in closing, it's very important that you guys take your skin very, very seriously, making sure that you are buying products that have SPF, especially with how hot it is outside. You know, you want to make sure you protect your face, protect your body, um, drink plenty, plenty, plenty of water that really does help with your skin. 
um, in case you're not willing to want to get Botox or anything. Water is definitely your best friend. Try getting face masks that, are, that peel off because you want to make sure that it's peeling off and ripping out all the impurities in your pores, um, depending on you know the level of skin that you have. Um, I think a really good one is my Too Faced Glow Job. This is one of my favorite peel off masks. I can feel everything getting pulled out of my face, even my soul, like it's perfect, it's awesome. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, as far as like preventive Botox goes, just know guys, again, don't think of it as like you need Botox, like you're wrinkly, wrinkly, wrinkly. No, like I literally cannot stress this enough. I only do Botox and preventive Botox. I'm going to start saying that a lot more instead of just Botox. I do preventive Botox because I want my skin to continue to just look youthful because, you know, in all honesty, that's how and why my makeup transfers on so well. I don't have creases and crevices that makeup can like hide into so it just looks airbrushed I get that airbrushed effect thanks to the amount of Botox that I do now I don't do a lot um, I do about like 16 units so I spend no more than a hundred dollars um, on my Botox and um, it helps like lift up my eyebrows it helps with my dark circles and like lines in my by my eyes as well as like my frown lines as well it literally just pulls everything up in a very you know, natural looking way to where I don't look like, you know, Anna Nicole Smith. No offense, rest in peace, I love you, you know? <laughs> but um, I love it. And my girl Margie has the magic hands. So she literally just injects like this general area um, up on my forehead and then next to him, my eyes. And that helps pull everything together. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I have done my cheeks. I've gotten um, Voluma on my cheeks to help contour my cheeks. I've contoured my jaw as well And it honestly again makes my makeup go on a lot better, but don't think that that's the reason why um, Your makeup's not working out or don't think that's why you feel um, Your makeup would be better because you need Botox. No, everybody's face is different. Everybody has a different mindset This is just how I choose to do it and it works for me. So it's all about you guys choosing what works for you and um, being able to incorporate it all together. But if you want more information on my preventive Botox, I do go to Southwest Plastic Surgery, um, and I get my injections done by my girl Margie Favela. And if she doesn't do it, my girl Marissa does it as well. But all the staff there, they're also fabulous and amazing, and they'll make you feel like a rock star. So, yes. Anyways, that is about it, everybody. That is my life. Now I have to go and switch it up so nobody can copy me. No, I'm just kidding. But um, thank you guys for watching my channel. Uh, I know I was supposed to talk about my college experience, but like I said in my snap, that is something I'm going to need a Xanax for because I have to relive that shit and, you know, talk about. I don't want to leave anything out, and but I also don't want it to be such a long video, so I have to just dumb it down a little bit. So that's going to take some time. Um... Thank you guys for your um, requests for this video. Please continue to send them in. Um, the more requests I get, the more videos I can put out because sometimes I blink and I'm all like, I don't know what to talk about. So I need you guys to help me with stuff to talk about. Um, no matter what it is, I'm here for you guys. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. Get drunk, get crunk, but also be safe. Um, I do have my Uber code that I'll put with my video so that in case I'll go out, you guys can use my code. If it's your first time, you get a free ride, which is awesome. So, yes, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. And I look forward to talking with you guys soon. I love you guys. Ciao for now.